For over a year now, theme park enthusiasts in California have been wanting to get back to some of their favourite theme parks. And of course, all these theme parks have been delayed due to COVID-19. But yeah, they do all have a set reopening for the 1st of April. And this is very, very exciting as stuff like Knott's Berry Farm, Disneyland, Universal and of course Magic Mountain will probably be opening on this day. And the reason why I say probably is because in California, they do have loads of different tiers. And this goes by this colour scheme of red, purple, orange and yellow. So yeah, these all depends where the theme parks were open and obviously loads of facilities as well. So yeah, so this all depends on what will happen. But now theme parks can open in the red tier. So originally it was small theme parks will open in the yellow tier and then big theme parks will open in the orange tier. And that was a little bit ridiculous. But now they said they will all be fine to open in the red tier. So hopefully Disneyland and places like that will reopen again. So yeah, this all depends and also the capacity as well. So with these parks, like obviously they will be limited on capacity. I don't officially know how much like they'll be limited on capacity, but I know it's quite a lot. So anybody who is trying to go to California, make sure to pre boot your tickets, whatever system these theme parks have got. Because if you don't, you may not actually get into the park. But yeah, with that being said, like, I'm so, so excited for these California theme parks to reopen again. Because of course, like they like, down in Southern California, they have got some of the most amazing theme parks ever. Like I went to California last year, and yeah, these parts are absolutely insane. And yeah, like all of them are incredible. Like, oh, the whole of California is an amazing state anyway. But like, like stuff like Sea World, you've got done, you've got Legoland and stuff like that. So even though some of the big parts like Disney and stuff like that, uh, I do still think they'll reopen, but I'm not sure how early on they will. I do think they'll open on the opening day. I feel fingers crossed they do, but I know definitely not as very far. Magic Mountain will try their best to open on the opening day. And I know Sea World or Land, uh, not Sea World, I know Sea World San Diego has already opened, but that's just for the animals and stuff like that. Because I can believe in that area they can actually open zoos and places like that. But I'm not definitely sure but places like SeaWorld San Diego have so many events in 2021 and of course they will be opening their new B&M dive coaster Emperor and this looks amazing it's a great fit for the park but yeah like other places like the Desmond Mountain has got some events as well and I really do hope they bring back this drive through it's I'm not sure if it's confirmed yet but I really do hope they bring back this drive through because that was such a good idea in 2020 and yeah so that was such a good idea for Christmas and I hope they bring it back for Halloween and of course stuff like like that but of course i do hope pe like, people can actually go into the park in halloween but yeah as, as long as they have an option like that it would be great to still have it but yeah i'm so happy these parts are opening and of course stuff like disneyland as well i don't think they're going to be able to open dark rides i'm not overly sure again but m just make sure to check all the websites and stuff like that to find out but for disney that may be a little bit difficult same as universal but for magic mountain knots and also sea world that shouldn't be too difficult because most of their rides are outdoors anyway but of course as these theme parks can open there will be restrictions and I believe this will be you have to wear face masks the whole way around the park all day except when you're eating food and stuff like that and another thing as well is that there will be loads of hand sanitizers around the park and also I believe you'll have to have your temperature checked when you go into the park but all these stuff are not too bad at all and especially if everyone can get back to these amazing places it will I'm sure loads and loads of people will be able to come back to these theme parks and I really really do hope everyone follows the restrictions and stuff like that so if you're watching this video please do follow all the restrictions and yeah just keep everyone safe including yourself but i'm so happy for these theme parks to re in again and i know back in the uk over here theme parks did open for quite a while last year but then obviously they did shut down and they still haven't opened this year it is actually set to open on uh, april the 12th but yeah obviously the california's will open first but in florida theme parks have started to open now and you can see icebreaker construction and also the velocicoaster construction that both are incredible rides including of course Iron Gwazi so all these rides look amazing but yeah back onto California I'm just so happy they're opening and I'm sure a lot of you too will be happy if you are make sure to leave a comment down below but that wraps up this video here on NTPC and goodbye